Denver looks super flat and kind of boring as you fly in. And I was like, where are the mountains at? But I promise you they're just around the corner. You can take public transportation from the airport to the city. An RTD ticket is 1050 and it'll take you to the heart of the city to Union Station. We are at Union Station. It's basically just some restaurants and little shops inside. There isn't much to do in Denver except for eating and shopping, and that's not what we came there to do. So we took a 35 minute drive to Littleton, Colorado because we saw that it had a really cool place called Roxboro State Park. Called again, oh, Rocks, Roxboro. Rock of Ages. <laughs> it's only ten dollars to get in, and then, I mean, there's barely any people here. Um, the park attendant said most people spend half a day in here. We only spent like an hour. We made it to the Rockies. We only spent one day here. If I can redo this trip, I would definitely spend two days and stay in Estes Park for a night. But we took the path up to the Emerald Lake and also saw Alberta Falls. Everything is so like magnificent here. You wanna take it all in and just like keep it with you. We met a little friend, a marmot. They spend 80% of their lives sleeping. We don't have any food, sorry. <laughs> After Emerald Lake, we took a little break and then headed over to the Glacier Gorge stop where we hiked up to Alberta Falls. And this is the view. Super cloudy and rainy day, but the views were still great and it was beautiful. We probably couldn't see as far as we could have on a clear day, but still worth it. 
Because of the weather, we decided to only drive up to Alpine Ridge Visitor Center. Then we climbed up these stairs, which took us to 12,000 feet. You have to be really careful in this weather because you're the highest thing. You could get struck by lightning since we are above the tree line. That's why you don't see any trees growing up here. Y'all, we're up like 12,000 feet and it's raining, but I honestly think it's sleeting. It is freezing cold. Oh my gosh. Okay, back to our car. Climbed all the way up there. And we still have a while to go. We're soaked, so there's really nothing else we can do but stay soaked. I was desperately hoping to see some elk and the park attendant said they are most commonly found in the alpine tundra. So that's really why we drove up here. And at first I didn't know what this was, then after some research, it's an elk, a female elk. After spending most of the day at Rocky Mountain, we headed over to Colorado Springs, which is about a three hour drive from Estes Park. We were super exhausted, so would not recommend this. Finally made it to our Airbnb. It was so cute and refreshing. We are up bright and early again because we wanted to see the sunrise at the Garden of the Gods. Thank it you already God looked for coming. like the sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> we had a tad bit, a few minutes late, but you know what? Me. We'll still see it as we're driving and there's mountains and scenery all around. There were lots of trails at the Garden of the Gods and this is one of them. I would recommend getting there very early, like around 6 a.m., to avoid the crowds. There were only a handful of people when we were there. And this is one of the most popular trail slash routes because you get to walk through everything that the Garden of the Gods has to offer and you're in the middle of all these amazing structures. Later on, we headed to the Manitou Cliff Dwellings, which are about five miles from the Garden of the Gods. Some people believe these are just a replica, and other people believe that these are original dwellings of Native Americans that have been recovered. This image says that the foundations were laid between 1100 to 1300 AD. That is a really long time ago, and it was just really cool and fascinating to be here, especially on a very hot day, but then as you walk in, it is very cool and refreshing. We really enjoyed our stay in Colorado. If I could redo this itinerary, I would fly into Denver, but just drive to Estes Park, spend the night there, and spend two days at Rocky Mountain National Park. And then drive to Colorado Springs, but also go see the Royal Gorge. Anyways, we are glad to be home back in Atlanta.